Hey, I'm back again with the incredible Catherine here at Felicia Farms, cooking some delicious food, I hope. <laughs> Our favourite chef, Mike. I'm glad to see you again, mate. You as well. Looking you as well. Looking forward to see what we're cooking today. What are we cooking? So today I'm going to do a gorgeous bolata. Oh, so beautiful, look at yeah. this. Like it's such a perfect cheese, which I'm going to pair with, of course, your incredible spring onions. Yeah, fantastic. So, so our spring onions aren't grown here in Werribee South. Whereabouts are they grown? Because so gro you need a hotter climate, right? Well, no, not hotter climate, but a softer soil. So, so we grow these in colder meat in sandier soils because they're pulled out one by one. So One by one? One by one. And then we bunch them in the field and then we wash them. So How long does that take? Well, not as long as you'd think because, you know, we've been doing it for a very long okay. time. But again, this is what I think is really important to talk about, the amount of effort that goes into growing and Absolutely. picking. And, you know, you go to the supermarket, you pick it up, and you don't think much yeah. of it. But there's been a lot of love and attention yeah. and, and It's so, in, it's so it. important for yeah. people to understand the work that goes into, you know, producing incredible ingredients like this, you know, and the time and the care and the love and the generational knowledge because you're a third generation third farmer? Third generation, yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. And then and then what's so great is that we get to give it to chefs like you to turn it into something amazing. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully I do it justice today. <laughs> so while you get that chopped and on the grill as quickly as possible, yeah. I'm going to make a puree from those spring onions. So I'm going to make like a charred spring onion puree. Beautiful. We're then going to have some grilled spring onions to go with it. Yep. I've got some beautiful fresh peas here. Peas for me, freshly potted, are just so moorish. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to leave them raw. Like you don't need to cook them. They're just so sweet and delicious and fresh great as a snack. I'm going to dress those in a little bit of olive oil later with some fresh mint and make a gorgeous light little lunch sort of dish. Yeah, awesome. Right, let's have a look at those, Catherine. Oh, that and that's what you want. You want the char, you want the colour, you want that caramelisation and you want to just now, you've got your butter, go straight into a hot pan. You can go spring onion straight into there. No worries. And then we're going to add to that some spinach. What's so great is you've used spring onion as like a main ingredient. Most people just use it as like a garnish Absolutely. or something on the side. I want your products to be the star of the show. This is a burrata and spring onion dish. There we go. So the spinach straight in as well. Tell me a little bit about your school. Like I love hearing about all the stuff you're doing with veg education. So veg education is really focusing on what we think are the areas that, you know, our industry need to maybe upskill in or improve in a little yeah. bit. So, you know, that's safety and that's leadership and management. So, you know, veg education is made by industry, which is I'm included and that some other people are involved in. Yeah. We just try to really, I guess, create a school that really shows horticulture in its finest and most uh, exciting way. And you've been around and you've seen us, yeah. you know, how exciting our industry is, Absolutely. how exciting our business is, yeah. how many opportunities there are. So how diverse it is as yeah. well. Like there's so many facets to it. It's like what you're doing is truly incredible and it's really quite inspiring what you guys are trying to achieve, you know. It's something that people should really check out, get on their website, learn more because it is, it's incredible. So into this now, we've just wilted down the spinach with the spring onions, which are pretty much already cooked. Yeah. I'm going to add to this now some ice, okay? So the, ice, the ice is interesting. So the ice basically, one, cools it down yeah. and stops it from cooking further, yeah. but it will also help you keep that beautiful green colour, ah, okay? It stops the chlorophyll from just seeping away and overcooking. Yep. So, and also it gives us the liquid that we need to turn this into a quick puree. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. It's amazing. So we're going to pop into, obviously I don't have a blender here, guys. <laughs> so we're just going to steal a little section in her staff kitchen, <laughs> blend this up, and we'll be right back. Right, we've got our beautiful, beautiful spring onion puree here. I'm just going to warm that through. And I'm going to put some olive oil on this toast. Olive oil on my toast, please. And then we're going to grill it up. This is a beautiful bottle too. It's a gorgeous bottle. And like having an early harvest olive oil, like you don't have to feel the guilt about eating it, you know? You can see the gorgeous colour there. Yep. Look at that. That's enough. Yeah, Switch that's that awesome. off. We're going to dress our peas here. Fresh peas, a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil again, it's all you need. Well, actually you need one more thing, which is our beautiful mint. And I'm just going to pick some of the smaller leaves, because I don't want to have to even chop it. 
All right, how's your toast looking? I'm thinking pretty good. Oh, pretty good, pretty yeah. good. You pull can, yeah, off. yeah, pull it off. Cut it up for me, please. We're going to get this beautiful puree down. Guys, this amazing. is the perfect sort of dish for lunch or even a light early dinner. Even as an entree or starter, if you're having people over, you know, they will be impressed for sure. Now, this got to try and pressure, pick up this. Yeah. yeah. Try and pick this up without splitting it. Never going to happen. Do you want a bigger spoon? Nah. Oh, that look, well, you did a pretty good job, Mike. Pretty good Ooh. job. Pretty good job. Pretty I want it to split at the end. Fantastic. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got your fresh peas here with yeah. your mint, a little bit of salt, a syrup, and sprinkle that around. So I've just got some beautiful little edible flowers here. Yeah, it looks amazing. Which I'm just going to use to garnish. Little drizzle on top. I love it. Amazing. I love it. Your spring onion yeah. is the star again. I know, amazing. The fresh peas, that gorgeous burrata, guys. Like, you can't go wrong. Bit of toast on the side. Happy days. Yeah, I'm going to try this one at home for sure. Absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic.